In this video, I am going to give you an overview of the final project for this class, which is a collaboratively constructed digital edition of Lady Susan, which is the last novel that we are reading. Um, we are going to be working together as a class to create uh, a student edition of Lady Susan that will look a lot like this one, which was also done by students at Marymount University. Um, this is an excerpt from Mary Wollstonecraft's Vindication of the Rights of Woman. And you'll notice that it has a good clear text here with page numbers that are linked to the first edition. And it has some good annotations that um, take you to all of the sources it has used. Okay. Um, so this is sort of what we're going to be doing. All right. Um, I want to just take a little bit of time to go over uh, this. Um, we're going to be adding this text, Lady Susan, to Literature in Context, which is a federally funded grant project um, that I am a PI on. And um, I hope that you're ex excited about this as, as I am. Um, so I've already done a lot of work on the project for us so that we can manage our time a little bit more effectively given our remote classroom. Um, so it's going to unfold over a, a, a lot of different stages, okay? We're mostly going to be using Google Docs in our shared drive because we're pretty familiar with it now, so we know how to use it. Um, if you want to uh, communicate with your peers or your group members on Slack, then feel free. Uh, I'm not going to be monitoring that, um, but if you at me, uh, I will take a look, okay? So that you can use Slack to help you communicate or not. It's up to you, okay? Um, you're going to be, as I said, uh, doing as much of your work as possible in Google Docs, um, but I do require you to submit all of your work to Canvas in one form or another. Uh, and this is because I use the gradebook in Canvas and it, nothing will be incorporated into the gradebook unless it has an assignment that has submissions sent into it. So um, so that's why you'll be working on Google Docs, but I'm going to be asking you to, you know, submit your work on Google Docs through Canvas, okay, periodically. Okay. Um, to do this project, we're going to be working in groups. Uh, each group will have two people in it. Um, one group, it's possible, may have three students in it, but these will be very small, agile groups of people. Uh, and as a result, I'm hoping that we'll be able to um, do some group Zoom chats and check in periodically via video conferencing all together in our small group so that um, I can just touch base with you and you can have an opportunity to ask me questions, okay? So you are going to um, identify your group members, okay, by Thursday. You can sign up for those groups here. And when you do that, be sure that you indicate who the team leader is. The team leader will receive five points on the final project score. Uh, this person will be responsible for communicating and staying on deadline and generally helping make sure everything goes smoothly, okay? So the deliverables. They're all going to be due in stages, and we've actually already started work on it, okay? Your work for Thursday involves reading the first half of the, the novel, Lady Susan, and beginning to take your notes, which will be due on April 3rd, okay? There are also two discussion posts that I'll ask you to write uh, responses and replies to, and this is just about your reading of Lady Susan. The next step is for us to work in our small teams on basic corrected XML of our letters. Now, we don't net yet know what XML is, that's fine. Um, suffice to say at this point that in your small groups, each group will be responsible for between uh, approximately five letters, the span of what five letters might cover, okay? Um, and your job in your small groups will be to do uh, to, to mark up that text um, so that it can be read by a machine. And I'll go over how you do that, okay? But your uh, basic XML will be due on April 6th. Sometime before April 14th, 
I'd like you to set up a time for a group conference with me to talk about your XML and preparing your annotated bibliography and doing your research. Okay, I'll be available over Easter break if your team is. Okay. The next step is an annotated bibliography. You're going to be doing some research on your sources and um, I may alter the nature of the sources that you're looking at, uh, but we will see um, what that entails a bit later. But you will be doing an annotated bibliography of, all, of at least three sources, okay? And that will be due on April 14th. Okay? I may have to adapt this given our new model um, of delivery online. Um, and then April 16th, you're going to be finding at least one image or media file to support your annotations, as we saw in uh, this student's project. Um, here is an image that has been uh, carefully selected and is referenced in the text. Okay. So you're going to be doing something like that. Uh, your image is going to be due on the 16th. And then we're moving into our draft annotations. Um, you're going to be uh, using the discussion board post to share your draft annotations. Uh, and then at the very end of the month, we're going to be turning our annotations into XML. And then after that, we'll be putting it all together. I will mostly be putting it all together um, in a separate program and making it available on our website for you. The very last thing that you're going to be doing for this project is writing an individual reflective essay. Okay? That individual reflective essay should be between four and five pages. Okay? Uh, it's going to be written, of course, by yourself. Um, you're not going to be working with your partner on this, though, of course, you've been working with your partner throughout. So, you know, you probably have talked about it. But each person will be submitting one essay. Um, there's no final exam, and I've also cut the final literary terms, literary analysis quiz, okay? So we don't have a final exam, we don't have a final quiz, and we are also not having uh, any more presentations because uh, it's just too cumbersome to make that work in this format without a little bit more thought on my part. Uh, so your four to five page essay will basically be um, a reflective response to what you've done for this project, okay? You're gonna provide a summary in your own words of Lady Susan. You're going to explain how you chose your annotations and how your research helped you. You're going to explain why you think carefully edited, transparently sourced, and well-edited annotated texts are necessary, if you think they are. If you think they're not, then explain why not. Use a good example to illustrate. Then you're going to explain in your own words what XML is using a sample annotation of your own to help you explain. I'm going to ask you to include a screenshot as well. And again, I'm going to go over what XML is, so you don't have to worry about that right now. Uh, and then one of the last two things you'll do is explain how structured markup, which is what XML is, um, may be helpful for understanding literary texts. You'll have some freedom here. You can narrow your focus according to what you become interested in. Uh, and again, use an example to illustrate. Uh, and then finally, you're going to have a conclusion that explains what you learned about Lady Susan from doing this project. Okay. The essay is going to need to be well written, spell checked, grammar checked, etc., cetera, etc., cetera, um, with a works cited page uh, and so on. Um, but that's it. Okay. So I've tried to make this project, uh, which is quite ambitious, uh, accessible by breaking it down into parts. Um, so this page contains all of the parts together, but I'm going to be breaking these out, of course, into individual assignments. So for instance, the notes on Lady Susan um, are a separate assignment that has its own separate um, um, assessment. Okay, so that is the final major project. Okay, uh, if you have questions, and I'm sure you will, um, please get in touch with me. I will be providing a video shortly, maybe not today, but within this week, um, giving you an overview of XML and how uh, that markup works and what structured markup is uh, and why it might be important for us, um, given what we already know about digital editions. So uh, let me know if you have any questions and uh, enjoy reading Lady Susan. It's a real hoot. Um, and I look forward to seeing what you come up with on your discussion board posts. Have a great night.